In this podcast, I will discuss the different manifestations of pancreatitis on imaging. There are three basic classifications of pancreatitis on imaging. Uncomplicated acute pancreatitis, necrotizing pancreatitis, and chronic pancreatitis. For uncomplicated acute pancreatitis, we often see fat stranding around the pancreas. In this case, we see the peripancreatic fat is inflamed and therefore has what we describe as stranding. Clinically, the patients often will present with an elevated lipase and epigastric pain. If you have any two of these three clinical or imaging findings, you can diagnose acute pancreatitis. This is a normal pancreas for comparison, where you can see the clean fat around the pancreas, as opposed to the fat stranding on the initial case. Necrotizing pancreatitis is a more severe form of pancreatitis. The inflammation from the acute pancreatitis has resulted in necrosis of the pancreatic parenchyma and the development of multiple fluid collections around the pancreas and where the pancreas used to be. In this case, we can see multiple areas of necrosis with thick enhancing rims, commonly referred to as walled off necrosis. Necrotizing pancreatitis can also result in vascular injury, resulting in hemorrhage, pseudoaneurysm, and occlusion of vessels around the pancreas. Patients with chronic pancreatitis typically present with recurrent or chronic epigastric pain. Their lipase is often normal, and when they undergo a CT scan, you can identify calcifications scattered throughout the pancreas. The pancreatic duct is typically dilated and irregular, and there may be loss of the pancreatic tissue volume. In summary, acute pancreatitis presents with epigastric pain, lipase elevation, and straining around the pancreas. Necrotizing pancreatitis is a more severe form of acute pancreatitis, where the pancreatic parenchyma becomes necrotic and vascular injuries can occur. Chronic pancreatitis is a different entity in which repeated injury to the pancreas results in calcification and duct irregularity on CT or MRI.